Ok, let's do a very brief update about Mars. Because once again something really exciting was discovered by two separate missions and something that currently has no explanation. But that something, as always, when it comes to Mars, is basically rocks. Very weird rocks. And so hello info person, this is Anton. Let's discuss Martian rocks once again and talk about why these discoveries are maybe kind of important. Although here I guess this story starts just over a decade ago. Back then the NASA's Spirit rover that you see right here, that was active on Mars between 2004 and 2011, completely by accident, had one of its wheels stuck in one of the rocks. And it actually ended up dragging this rock for quite some time, which completely by accident revealed that this rock contained nearly pure silica. Here's actually what all of this looked like when the researchers decided to turn the camera around in order to find out what was left behind. And this unusual discovery of silica was probably one of the most important findings by the Spirit rover in its entire mission. In essence, the presence of this suggested hot springs or unusual hot water that might have been present on Mars a long time ago. But it was because of this discovery that the scientists using Curiosity rover that's currently exploring Mars basically started doing the same. Once in a while they would turn the camera around just to see what's up. And Curiosity, not to be confused with the similar looking Perseverance, has been on Mars since 2012. And its mission is to study where and when this beautiful planet could have had conditions filled with various nutrients in order for microbial life to potentially start. And so once again during its mission, it basically rolled over one of the rocks and just like with the Spirit mission, the researchers decided to look behind and to their surprise discovered that one of these rocks that were all over the place actually cracked open as the wheel drove over it. And in the process revealed something we've never seen before on Mars. This unusual yellow-green stuff, these are crystals of sulfur, pure sulfur. And even though in the last seven months Curiosity was exploring a sulfate-rich area, which is essentially a kind of a salt that contains sulfur and a bunch of other stuff. This time this was not a mineral. This was really just pure elemental sulfur, which was confirmed by the instruments when Curiosity drilled into this, conducting an elemental test. And because this type of sulfur really just only forms in very specific, very unique conditions, and Curiosity seems to have found quite a lot of it, as a matter of fact, all of these rocks are probably filled with it. Currently, there's really no idea what's going on here or how this got there. Researchers even mentioned that this shouldn't even be here. And so because it is here, it once again confirms that Martian chemistry is just very different from what we really expect. Or that Martian history is not what we always thought it was. And because on Earth this is usually also associated with things like hydrothermal vents or even places like for example the Yellowstone Volcano, in that sense discovering pure sulfur on the surface of Mars potentially suggests something maybe very similar. But that's of course just the first discovery coming from Mars. And here, just to make some of these discoveries a little bit easier, researchers actually started to use different types of machine learning in order to conduct what's known as adaptive sampling. Or basically they're now using artificial intelligence to quickly identify rocks that might be useful for further analysis by autonomously positioning various instruments and quickly scanning them in order to reveal basic properties. And by then using artificial intelligence, scientists determine whether it's worth drilling or whether this particular sample should be skipped. And so during some of the recent explorations, one of these scans revealed something really weird. Weird as in a weird rock, because we are basically talking about just rocks. A rock scientist now nicknamed Shiyava Falls, named after a waterfall in Arizona. And though by itself it doesn't really appear anything different to, I guess, a non-geologist, a lot of trained geologists were super excited by what they were looking at. Here in this 1 meter by 0.6 meter rock that's mostly red in color, they discovered unusual thin veins of white calcium sulfate, which was probably formed by some kind of water flow, inside of which they discovered unusual white colored patches. Very small ones, only like a millimeter across, and surrounded by darker red material, very likely containing iron and phosphates. But in essence, all of this suggested that this actually could be signs of ancient life. Because on Earth, these types of features are usually formed by fossils containing microbes living in subsurface conditions. Which essentially makes this rock one of the most puzzling, most complex, 
and potentially most important rocks discovered by Perseverance so far. And it's really because of these unusual white leopard spots. In geology, these are known as reduction spots, and they're very commonly seen in red sedimentary rocks on Earth. Here are some examples of this from planet Earth, and as you can see, they do come in different sizes and different shapes. But normally, these reactions are driven by subsurface dwelling bacteria, and they use oxidized iron as a source of energy, in the end producing these unusual spots. And so discovering this on Mars is a little bit bizarre. And because this is the first reduction spot discovered on Mars, to geologists studying this, this is a pretty big deal. But it could still be maybe some kind of a chemical reaction driven by some kind of an acid. The type of an acid that would reduce this, producing these colors. However, the second clue comes from the analysis of all kinds of stuff nearby. And so the same area contained a lot of organic compounds, which is usually a telltale sign that maybe there is life here as well. Now, naturally, organics can be produced through chemical means, and in this case, NASA did not provide more details about what kind of organic molecules, but for now, these are definitely super exciting signs. But then there is also something that's really strange, and potentially hints at not life. And you see it right there, the mineral olivine. This is an igneous or volcanic mineral, and so it actually suggests the injection of water into ridiculously high temperatures way too high for life to survive. And so one possible explanation right now is this used to be some kind of a lake or some kind of a wet area that eventually got covered by hot magma, which produced the white spots when lava mixed with water. But in order to solve all of this, NASA now collected its 22nd rock sample that's hopefully one day going to make its way back to planet Earth in order to study this rock in more detail and to find out what's hiding here and if it's maybe signs of ancient life. And here Perseverance even took a selfie with this rock, just because it was so bizarre and such an unusual discovery. And actually for like the last week or so, scientists using Perseverance have been trying to zap this rock using every instrument they have from every possible angle. And at the moment there's really no additional information and nothing else that can be done from Mars without physically going there and collecting the samples. And so in that sense, Perseverance is not going to provide us with more clues about this very strange rock. Nevertheless, this is still currently the biggest hint for ancient life on Mars, even though technically maybe this could be explained by using just chemistry. And so until NASA finds a way to return these samples somehow, we're probably not going to know much more, as there's just not enough instruments on Mars to actually figure out what this is. But the presence of olivine and these leopard spots definitely suggests at least one thing. Active volcanism, a lot of water, and very active chemistry from something. But nobody knows what. And so super exciting discoveries for geologists and for scientists trying to find signs of life on Mars, but nothing concrete yet, and possibly nothing concrete until maybe mid-2030s, when some kind of a return mission might happen after all. And it's that 20-second sample from Mars that might finally answer the question of whether life existed on Mars or not. And so until future discoveries from Mars, check out some of the previous videos about previous discoveries from this year in some of the videos in the description. Thank you for watching, subscribe, share this with someone who loves learning about space and sciences, come back tomorrow to learn something else, support this channel on Patreon by joining channel membership, or by buying the wonderful person t-shirt you can find in the description. Stay wonderful, I'll see you tomorrow, and as always, bye-bye.